If you want to build muscle, burn fat, and just get in damn good shape, then click the link in this bio and learn how you can inquire about my online coaching. Now let's get to the video. If you're struggling to get your first pull up, then follow this program I'm going to give you that will ensure in a few months time, you will be able to get your first few reps of the pull up. So let's get into it. So you're going to be training three days a week. Because you can't do any pull ups, the overall stimulus to your back is going to be low. Therefore, the overall fatigue on your body will also be low, making higher frequency more of a plausible option. For the pull ups themselves, you're going to focus on two variations. One is a negative pull up. So you jump up to the bar and then you slowly lower yourself down to the floor until you get to a full lockout. Then you jump up again and repeat that process over and over. Because you're only performing half of the movement, the eccentric portion, you want to go slowly on the way down to make up for that lost tension from not including the concentric, pulling yourself on the way up. So five seconds on the way down is what you want to aim for. The second variation is band assisted pull ups or an assisted pull up machine. The assisted pull up machine has more of an even resistance profile, basically meaning the resistance is even throughout the whole range of motion. So there's no point where it gets harder and easier. It's the same through the whole lift. Whereas the band assisted pull ups, they give you more assistance at the bottom when the band is fully stretched and less assistance at the top when the band is a bit more loose. But at this stage in your training, the resistance profiles of an exercise, they don't matter at all. The only thing that matters is getting on the bar and spending time on it, building up strength in your lats, upper back and your biceps. So whatever variation's easier for you to perform, just do that one. You can either perform both variations of the pull up throughout the week or just stick to one that you like. I would suggest you perform both styles of the pull up because with the negative pull up, you're getting a heavy eccentric overload on the way down, really controlling that weight. And with the banded assisted or the machine assisted pull up, you're learning the correct pull up form for the whole range of motion and you're learning to strain through the concentric part, which is the hardest part of the lift. So they both have their own benefits. So your best bet is to include both of them. Monday for the negatives and Thursday for the assisted pull up. The setup and progression scheme for these exercises will look like this. Monday, you perform your negative pull up, build up to about three to four sets of 10 negative reps. That's a lot harder than it sounds, believe me. Remember on the way down, you want five seconds on the eccentric and then jump back up and repeat that. So build up to multiple sets of doing that 10 times. And then on Thursday, perform the assisted pull up when you can get multiple sets of eight to 12 reps, you either use a lighter band if you're doing banded pull-ups or you decrease the amount of weight on the assisted pull-up machine and you progress in that fashion. Then after your pull-ups on both of these days, you're gonna do two to three sets of inverted rows. An awesome exercise to build up that pull-up strength, it hypertrophies all of the same muscles involved and it's very specific because it's a body weight pull. So two to three sets of this exercise in the 10 to 20 rep range. On Monday, you're gonna do an overhand grip and row it quite high near your clavicle to your upper chest area. Focus more on the upper back. And on the Thursday, you're gonna take a underhand grip and row it just below your nipple line to focus slightly more on the lats. Both variations though are gonna smoke your upper backs and your biceps. And then once you can easily perform your two to three sets in the 10 to 20 rep range, Lower the bar closer to the floor to make the exercise harder. And then from there, raise up your feet to make it even harder. And then if you're a complete stud, add some external weight in a backpack or put a weight plate on your chest to take it one step further. And then on the third day of the week, so Saturday or Friday, if you're following a Monday, Wednesday, Friday split, but for the sake of this video, we're doing a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday split. Either of them are just as good as each other. On this day, you're gonna perform two to three sets of lat pull downs. So standard overhand grip, just slightly outside of your shoulders about here, and you're gonna perform sets of six to 10 reps. Lat pull down is a lot easier than performing a normal pull up. So it's not very specific to the pull up technique, but it will hypertrophy all of the same muscles that are involved in the pull up. Therefore, having some good carryover to your pull up strength. And then after that, you're gonna perform your normal two to three sets of inverted rows in the 10 to 20 rep range. If you find that this third day is just too much for you to recover from, you're quite beat up, you're quite sore and your joints hurt, then just completely scrap that last day of lat pull downs. Just stick with a Monday and Thursday with the two pull up variations. But if you can recover from three days a week, by all means, go for it. 
And that is the full program there to get your first pull up. So a Monday, Wednesday, Friday split, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday split, or if that's too much, just stick to the Monday, Thursday split with the two main pull up variations. Give that a go, hammer that out for a few months, and I guarantee you'll be able to get your first pull up with ease after following this program. So with all that being said, try out for yourself and see you go from there. Until next time, peace. Thank <laughs> you.